Appreciation Day. Welcome and thank you for being here. No, thank you for staying. Give yourselves a hand. Thank you for staying. I appreciate you. I'm a teacher, 25 years. I'm a parent and I'm a mom of a teacher. I'm a human who wants every child to be safe and have a blast at school. And in our teacher bag of tricks, we've got everything we need. Water, energy bars. I got lots of the allergy lists, the health issues, the IEPs. I even have a thermometer in there. Teachers are way excited about teaching. And it's not just because we get summers off, although it's a sweet bonus. We love learning as much as we love teaching. We know it's mutual, this exchange of information about our content areas, our social issues, embracing students and their gender expression, learning how each student learns, and teaching with differentiated education, and all the justice issues that we face. We spend hours on educational classes, degrees, and of course, student loan debt. First time I ever turned my TV on in a classroom was April 20th, 1999. My third hour class and I silently watched students jumping out of the building that they were supposed to be safe in. We watched teachers and students running away from the place that we treasure, that we get up every morning, that we have a passion for. Over and over again, if you would have told me in 1999 this would have ever happened again, I wouldn't have believed you. We admire, we love education, and we want everybody to advance in their choices with better education. Years later, I took students to Colorado for a service trip, and we went to Columbine, and we visited those crosses, those 13 crosses, and we prayed and we wept and we, we were like, what do we do? And a friend of mine teaches at Columbine and she showed us their art and their writing and how they were dealing with it, the kids that came back that didn't die. I can't forget Dave Sanders, gym teacher, not me, I'm a reading teacher, 25 year veteran, loved by everybody. This is what the paper said. When two students started firing outside the school, Dave ran into the cafeteria and he sounded the alarm. Dave and two janitors helped save more than 100 students by herding them away from the shooters. Then Dave ran up the stairs of Columbine where he came across the shooters and he ran in the opposite direction, but unfortunately he was shot three times. He managed to get himself to a nearby science lab where several students not the fire department, not the police department. Several students rushed to his aid. However, a few hours after the, the shooters committed suicide, Dave died from blood loss. His last words were, tell my family I love them. I want you all to take a collective deep breath. When we know better, we do better. Now say it with me. When we know better, we do better. When we know better, we do better. Thanks to March to Our Lives. Thanks for all these young people. And give them a hand. Yeah, exactly. We now know better. We know the steps that we need to take to ensure all of us to have safer places to work, to teach, to shop, and live. We begin each school year with the mandatory shooter drill, and if we don't have one at our school, then we make one up. I teach high school, and those kids are like, I'll break the window for you, Miss Mulvey Hill. I'll get us out, don't you worry. And I'm like, that's not your job. And then my daughter teaches the little ones, and they don't even know what's going on, right? And so she has to figure out, and I was in her classroom yesterday, and she has to figure out like, where's the best wall? How do I get them out of the building? How do I get them out of this door? Well, they have taught us a lot of skills, but combat training isn't one of them. It's not in my bag and I don't know what to do. More than 10 times the students and I have been in a lockdown. There's been a shooter in the building. We've been huddled in corner with active shooters. I've had juice boxes, granola bars, and lockdown books. Yeah, you heard that right, for that special occasion. 
once there were two teachers and they're deaf and they didn't hear and I saw them passing my door and I had to decide, yeah, I got to run out and get them because they don't know there's a shooter in the building. What am I going to do? Pray. Yeah, pray, run, get them. We all survive. Since then, they turn the lights on when there's a shooter in the building so the people that are deaf know. Because when you know better, you do better. better. Thank you. Now, I teach a lot of kids and high school kids with special needs, and they don't do well with loud sounds, and they may not be able to stay quiet. And there are children who are still learning to follow the rules, and they might not sit with the class under the table. Sometimes we have to do it for an hour, and that's why we need you. We need laws to protect all of us. And finally, if we do need to drop the kids out of our window, who do we choose first? 23 years later, I can't believe I'm saying it, we stand with Uvalde, the children and the teachers, enough. Fast forward, thanks to all the organizations here, thanks to you and your hearts, thanks to how you vote. I know we can do this. We can take the action. We need to talk.